Hey guys, this is Abby. Um, I'm going to do a quick run through on what you need for your hunter, hunter flat, hunter jumper, hunter showmanship. Um, this is not for English. I mean, this is not for English. This is not for Western. Um, I don't ride Western. I obviously ride English. Um, so I'm sorry if you are a Western person, you can just go ahead and stop watching unless you want to watch. So what you're going to need for your showmanship hunter, hunter jumper, class this is probably as basic as it gets um i will tell you the prices that i got my show stuff at so you can kind of compare so we're gonna start with my boots i got tall boots um if you're a beginner you really don't need tall boots because my little sister is 10 and she's just using paddock boots um and it's not that big of a deal but since i'm a little older and my competition range is more common of my competition age more common we got tall boots um i don't know what brand they are they're devon air devon devon airs they're used and i got them for 70 dollars um i really yeah i got them for 70 dollars they're not they're not zipper i really want a zipper but they work and they're a little bit big but they they fit um you will need breeches um, of course, though, you're going to need breeches. Um, I used the lighter. I just bought the lighter color. Um, I really like these. I got them for like 20 25 I think. Same place I got my boots. Um, they are used, but they do not look used at all. They are... They are pri Pirates... Private style... Ed Private edition, is that right? Private edition, that's what it says. Um, I really like these. They're really comfortable and they look well with my boots because they're tight and they just look really good. Um, you're going to need a show shirt to put underneath your jacket. I got mine for 30 I think. Um, you can blue, like light blue, purple. I've seen so many different colors that look so good underneath your jacket, but we just stuck with white this year. And as I go up in experience level... Um, we'll get more, but I got the, this at the same place I got my breeches and my boots. Um, gloves are optional. Um, black gloves, I got my black gloves today. Um, they're optional. They just make you look classier and more cleaned up. I got mine for 11, 11 bucks, and they are, oh, I don't even know what brand they are. SSG556, SS, I don't even know. Um, but they're really comfortable, and I would suggest gloves because they just, they clean you up, and they make you look way better, whereas you're using bare hands. Um, you're going to need a helmet, of course. Most 4-H shows, if you go to a 4-H show, they require you to wear a helmet if you're under 18, I think. Um, so you definitely need a helmet, especially, you know, if you're, do it going to a 4-H show, I don't know, because I don't show outside of 4-H. Um, I paid $50 for mine at the same place I got my gloves. Same place, different time. Um, this is an IRH, International Riding Helmet. I really like it. It's really comfortable, and it fits really well. And it, I just, I really like it. Um, if you're a beginner, once again, you can probably get away with your Troxel schooling helmet that you can get for $20, $30. My little sister is using that once again. Um, you can use a helmet cover. That's what I did for my first show a few months ago because we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. But um, just a helmet looks better. I prefer IRH over Charles Owen because IRH fits my head better, conforms to my head better than IRH does, than Charles Owen does. So, um, and plus Charles Owen's a little bit more expensive, and I get that. It's a better brand, but I prefer IRH if you ask for my opinion. Last thing, you're going to need a show jacket, definitely. Even my little sister got one today for $44. $44. Um, mine's black. It's kind of hard to see because the camera probably won't pick it up. But I got mine black. Same place I got my breeches, show shirts, and my boots. Um, I also got chaps, half chaps from that place, and I really like my half chaps. 
I think, I don't know if my jacket's used or not. Um, well, I can't find the brand. But um, I really like this jacket. I got this for 100 which is really good because they were having a half price sale. Um, it fits me really well. Um, so that is pretty much it for the rider. For the horse, you know, for the horse, it's really simple. I, can't, I don't have anything to show you. I don't have a bridle or anything. A typical English bridle. Saddle, pretty much up to you as long as it's English. You know, it's pretty, pretty straight up. So that's what you need for your English showmanship, English hunter flats, or your hunter jumper. Um, check out my last video for the English hairstyles tutorial. Really simple, easy, and even though I have thick hair, it works for me too. So if you comment below if you have any questions, if I will leave my kick and my personal Instagram below. So if you want to kick me or you would like to follow my Instagram and keep up with me and my horses, go for it. Um, if you would like to know where I got my stuff, just comment below and I will definitely let you, I will definitely tell you where I got them first, like, because it's such good prices. I know people have asked me where I've gotten my stuff and people have not heard of it, but it's called the TAC Box and it's in Virginia and it's in it's in Virginia, it's in Middletown, so that's why I got it for such a good price. So if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. If you guys want prices again, comment down below. Anything else, you know, you can kick me, you can scrap me. I'll even give you my email, you can email me. Yeah, I'm on a roll with videos today. I'm just going to keep chugging through videos because it's hot. I can't go ride. I'm bored. And my phone is actually working and it's actually letting me post YouTube videos. So I should really end this. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.